How do I pronounce it? Brebe Ching. Great. <laughs> Hi, I'm Olivia Holt, and you are watching Brebe Ching. Well, Brazilian fans, I know you love the dance, so it's important that when I sing the part in the song that says shake your cake, you gotta move your booty. Then you dance. Nice! Well, thank you. I'm so happy that you loved it. I really love it too. The whole video was shot on film, which was really fun, but also incredibly terrifying because we had no idea what footage we were actually getting. So we had to wait a while for the result for us to get the film back, but it's so cinematic and so fun. And I feel like it really transports you to this incredible space of no matter what room of get the house that you're in or the place that you're in, that you can just be yourself and, and, and dance and to have this liberating emotion. And I think that we really captured all of those things and I'm very, very proud of it. I don't know. I don't know if it was, but I feel I like I would know that information. But now that I'm thinking about it, it's, I don't think that it is. Of course, I was incredibly nervous. I've been holding on to the song now for a year and a half. So to put it out into the world for other ears to listen to was terrifying. But I put it out and did enjoy the moment. I was with my friends and we listened to the song and we danced. We played it on repeat over and over and over again. And it was such a fun night. And then of course, like the following morning, I wanted to see what people were, what they were thinking about the song. And it seems like a lot of people love it. So I'm very happy. It is a part of a bigger project. I'm so proud of all of these songs that I'm putting out in such a different space than I've ever stepped into before in, in, in my music career. And I feel like these songs have really helped me solidify my artistry. And I'm so excited for people to hear. Um, the next song is definitely a pop record. I'm so drawn to organic instruments. So we'll hear a lot of new sounds that we haven't heard in my music before. And I think you are really going to like it. I wish that I could give you information, but I actually have no idea. I have no idea what the creative is for season two, but I have no doubt that the creatives will make it incredible. Good question. I think if we continue the story, I don't know, a part of me would hopefully like to see the ending be revealed. Kate, I'm also very satisfied with how season one ended and would be okay if we sort of went in a different direction. But ultimately, I think Kate needed a win at the end of season one and we saw her get that, regardless of if Jeanette saw her or not. She got a win and I think that was figuring out who her soulmate was. And that's yes, Mallory. Yeah, I don't know. I think ultimately that scene was up for interpretation. I think it could have been a platonic kiss, also a romantic kiss, but I think at the end of the day, whether it was platonic or romantic, they're each other's person and they're soulmates. And I think that there's something so special about that. So whether the relationship leads into something more or they just continue staying friends, I think that the relationship itself is so strong that nothing will break them. I would say Cloak and Dagger. I had such a great time on that project and I'd love to see Tandy and Tyrone fighting crime again. Or Kicking It. Kicking It was the first show that I was on and I would love to see all of us back together again. I think that that would be a cool reunion. And a song? History. <laughs> Thank you.
Of course I did. I did all of the above and everything was so beyond. One will never forget the hospitality and how kind everybody was. What a special experience it was being there. I felt like so many people were open to showing us around and making us feel at home. And the food was incredible and everybody was just the kindest. I'll never yeah. forget. Oh no, it's been so long. It's been so long and I, I'll be honest, I have not kept up. Okay, teacher. El, Elma, Mel Spons, Brasileiros. Your Portuguese is okay. great. Thank you. <laughs> I feel like you're just being kind. No. <laughs> yes, to all of the above. I definitely have plans to tour once the bigger project is released and then Brazil is at the top of my list. To my beautiful Brazilian fans, I love you. Thank you so much for all your love and support and your loyalty. I can't wait to come back and see you guys.